If you want to skip the introduction to the video, there are timestamps in the description to get straight to whatever you may be here for. I apologize if I happen to sound monotone. I'm not used to voiceovers. Anyways, the purpose of this video isn't going to just be a straight up top 10 tips video for console genjis. I also want to put a disclaimer that I don't believe I am the best console genji. And I don't think my skill level is even close to warranting a title like that. This will also probably be my last Overwatch 2 video because my passion for the game has since dwindled. This video will showcase my current Genji settings and the settings I use for other characters besides Genji, though I shall say I only use Genji in comp, a literal one trick. This video will also show you how I warm up before comp matches or if I have nothing better to do, as well as a map code that I recommend and personally use, or variants of. And as an additional thing, I plan to explain what I believe separates a Genji player from a fast Genji player. Then, just so I could get rid of some recordings, I'll throw in gameplay at the end. Of course, there will be timestamps in the description along with some of the things mentioned in the video. I also wanted to thank all of you for all of your support for my Overwatch 2 videos. Now, onto the main portions of this video. I should note that my settings should not be the end all to whatever you should stick with. Your settings are preference. I should note that if this sensitivity is too fast for you, feel free to work yourself up to getting to be faster. It's what I did. To save time on this video, my past videos have all the sensitivity settings in the description. The older the video, the slower the sensitivity. There are a few things I believe are mandatory within the settings to become the fastest Genji. That being max 100-100 horizontal and vertical sensitivity, 0% aim smoothing, and linear ramp for the aim technique. Getting used to a new aiming technique may be strange at first, but when I tried going back or accidentally left a different one on, it felt substantially slower to me. As to why my aim assist settings are tampered with, it's because the aim assist in this game is quite strong, and when you're trying to flick with thumbsticks from one target to the next or even to retreat with your dash, you want to avoid aim assist tugging to make you lose your, uh, to make sure you don't lose your turning momentum. As to why it's not all at zero, simply because it's what I feel comfortable with. There's no point in turning it all the way down if it sacrifices my or your aim. Just like the sensitivity speed adjustments, if you're not comfortable from going from max or default aim assist settings to what I'm at or lower, you can incrementally decrease it until you're comfortable with your aim assist settings. These are my settings for the rest of my heroes, as you can see. It's essentially just slower than my Genji settings, but not slow enough to hinder my and perhaps your Genji performance when you switch back to him. Again, the linear ramp stays because it's what I've gotten comfortable with. More aim assist is there due to me wanting to ensure I hit shots, but not strong enough to where it hinders any sort of target prioritization. And now I am going to show you guys gameplay with a non-Genji character because in all my past Overwatch 2 videos, there's none of that. It's just oh, Genji gameplay. All the way through. So here's that. That's a big stagger. That was actually damn near fundamental. We could get another pick, like on that soldier. Careful, Varix. Good shit. There's a Kiriko on you. Uh, I'm pushing this Kiriko. I have to 1v1. You guys just deal with that. Buddy, you need a fuck. You're weird, bro. Good fucking kick. Good fucking kick. Good fucking kick. Good fucking kick. I'm placing my ult right here. There you go. It's at an angle. 
We can mill it to everybody now. Not in the yet, Percy. What? Literally, you can watch the replay. I've been healing you, bro. Oh, I mean, we have a Zen as our other healer. He's. You just gotta play a little bit safer. I'm so dead. All right, I'm placing it right here. No, it's just like some skits look better. I mean, yeah, the bow web, the bow does look a bit different sometimes. <coughs> Three thousand. In case anyone's wondering, this is the reticle that I use for almost everything, like all my characters, heroes. The only exception that I would change for like you or myself, because I don't think for some reason it's edited here, uh, is my sniper reticles. Like for Widowmaker, the reticle I would make is just like a small dot, nothing more. You don't need anything else, and I find that it like opens up more uh, FOV space, lets me see more. Now, honestly, the way I warm up is very anticlimactic. It's not a bunch of different maps that I do in a row or anything like that. Most of the time, I just sit in the basic firing range and practice my 90 degree flicks, 180, 180 degree flicks, something that I explain a bit later on in the video regarding the separation of a fast Genji and a normal one, as well as just my overall accuracy and combo accuracy. And again, this video isn't just a basic Genji tips guide because those are all over the internet. This is just kind of like a, what I do personally. And hopefully it'll help you. I do, however, suggest one particular custom game, and that has the code DMGRE. It's great for practicing your blades and just trying to quickly warm up your aim with no interference of the random noises and bots in the practice range. Unfortunately, I normally use a variation of it that has like a 30 second blade, but I don't recall the code for it or remember how to get said code from the custom game that I do have saved as a preset. Either way, this one serves the same purpose, and it's actually neater. It's probably the most popular code for Genji training custom maps as well, as far as I'm aware. Now on to the main thing. I don't just believe the fastest Genji just means the Genji who could do 180s the fastest or spin in a circle with the fastest sensitivity. Fast Genjis to me is based on efficiency. Their dashes are almost methodical. As they're dashing towards one target, they see a support that's pushing away approximately 120 degrees to the right, and so after they kill the first target they see, they instantly dash towards the second. But they do it in such a way where even the viewer that's like spectating them or watching their VOD may ask like, how did they even know the enemy was right there? Well, at the end of the day, it's really just game sense. Situational awareness. It's something I wish I could show you more consistently and slow stuff down frame by frame, but my video editing skills and software just isn't cut out for that. Also because my PC is pretty garbage, hence the whole being on console thing. I believe anyone can just do 180 dashes back and forth, even if you couldn't do it now. With enough practice, muscle memory can do that. It'll fix it for you. Anybody can do it. However, taking it a step further and going from point A to B to C and efficiently executing targets is what makes the fastest Genji. Of course, I believe when you get it down, it'll be done at almost a subconscious level. 
I'll try leaving timestamps in the description that reference points in this video where I demonstrate what I'm talking about. To improve on this aspect, I suggest starting out the way I did, going to the practice range and keeping track of the four bots that move and seeing if you can kill one with a dash and dash the next one immediately. This is more of a warm-up to the actual act of learning to be what I consider fast. These bots go in a specific path, where players don't. This practice is really just to help you with your more specific dash flicks, not just 90 degree and 180 degree. But once you get your accuracy with your dashes on a second moving target down, you then just take it a step further and try to apply it to enemies in a game. You have to apply your game sense to know where you think enemies are going through, or though, to make sure your second dash is actually accurate. Then after you master that, you just apply other Genji techniques such as comboing to insta-kill or almost insta-kill the second target. Anyways, I apologize for taking so long on getting this video out, and I appreciate all the support everyone's given my videos. This is the most my channel has ever blown up in the past, like, let me see, uh, nine years it's been up? Uh, if this isn't what you expected from this video, I apologize, but feel free to leave me questions in the comments and I'll see if I can get to them. I will continue to make content, and it's very possible more Overwatch 2 content may come out of my YouTube channel, but I tend to hop from game to game pretty erratically. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video, and thank you for stopping by. That was pretty nice, okay. He's one! Bro, bro, Hunter, I legit had everybody convinced his name was actually Al. Give me uh, <coughs> that 26 more times. 23 more times. Alright, we got that banner. No That's crazy. Alright, I'm gonna pay my hospital bills for a Why? It does feel good now. It's not like... Yeah. Let's go. <coughs> Keep them idea with you to invite fucking start the game. Me and Pat were playing with him, bro. But you just now. Trap door 24, which is on the floor. Four teams at Stasis Ray. Goddamn. Oh, 